Welcome to Sue's Resin Tip of the Day. Today we're going to be working on using a minimal colour palette. So we're going to be using just three basic colours. White for the base, silver and purple. And in this we're going to be working to re retain a negative space in the white. So we're going to start off with a very, very basic layout. So as you can see we just poured a wavy purple line and a wavy line of silver and we're basically just going to work in the middle section of the round board because we want to keep this simple and not overwork it so by keeping it very very simple I'm just using just three simple colours you've got more chance of achieving your desired results. So obviously just moving the colours out from the centre into the negative space. I'm using my heat gun on a high heat setting to help blow this resin into the white space. Now I'm being mindful not to blow it too much and to make sure that we're retaining a lot of that white space in the background. Notice that any other colours that I'm pouring I'm restricting it to those two areas where we first laid down the colour. I don't want to overwork this in any way shape or form so we're just going to make sure that we keep the colours within the, the same area and I'm just laying colours on top of colours and then I'm going to use the heat gun to blow them around ever so slightly. All too often people mention that they've overworked a piece on and ask how to avoid doing this in the future. So if you just stick to just using three basic colours and just restricting the area in which you work then you're less likely to overwork it and then if you take a step back and have a look at the composition and look to see if it does need any additional colours for instance I felt it needs a little bit of extra white in the centre of the purple then you can do that but again just make sure that you still work within the parameters of your colours and then use your heat gun to help move that around slightly. So once you're happy with that actually step away from it and leave it for about 10 minutes and then come back and do your fine detailing. So here I've come back and I'm now adding some extra heat to help break this up to create some of the cells and lacing. Now many people make the mistake of trying to create this in the first hit and it doesn't always work that way. Sometimes you have to leave it to sit for about 10 minutes so that it's not flowing so easily so that when you come back with your heat you can actually help break that up. So as you can see this heat is helping to create the extra cells and lacing. Now I wouldn't have been able to achieve this if I had just done this initially on the, the initial pour. So I've had to let it, allow it to sit for 10 minutes before I could achieve this. And as you can see it's quite effective. Now you may well burn your resin at this point but you can come back later and add a flood coat of clear resin to eliminate any imperfections in your resin. So once you're happy with that it's then time to come back in and add your embellishments. So as you can see for this one I've added mirrors and the usual gems and acrylic diamonds. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see the full length video I will leave a link in the description below. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up or better still subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be bringing you plenty more resin tips of the day so stay tuned for the next 
episode and I shall see you soon. Bye for now.